besties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a full day of eating. I already had my breakfast, already had my coffee, went on a hot girl walk, and now it is time for some lunch. I am doing a chicken salad sandwich this week. I am so excited because I found a recipe online and I wanted to try it. So I tried it yesterday and I have everything prepped, cut up, diced up, and I'm actually gonna be filming of like a reel of it as well, but I'm also gonna show you guys on YouTube the recipe, but it is so good. Like I think I perfected it amazing so we're gonna get going on that it's 12 o'clock i went on a i went on an extra long walk today because <coughs> your girl got her period last night and i was supposed to actually hit back today but i just had no desire to go to the gym today almost five miles wow i know oh my god funny story so yesterday when i was making my meal i was squirting this mustard so hard that the cap broke and then i was eating my sandwich on live and I took a bite and something was like really hard. And I was like, mm. it was a piece of the cap. And I was on live and I was, everyone was like shitting on me. I was like, this is so embarrassing. Oh, also, got a bra. Bo boobs are boobin'. Super excited about it. Um, I went and got two Victoria's Secret bras yesterday. But yeah, let's make lunch. You guys know I used to be extremely lazy when it came to making chicken salad. Um, about a year and a half ago, I would do canned chicken. But no, we meal prepped shredded chicken. All you gotta do is get whatever kind of type of chicken you want, chicken breast, tenders, whatever you want. Cook it up and then put it into a food processor and pulse it for a few, few seconds. And this is what you get. Then we have regular onion, green onion, mustard, grapes, and celery. And then we're gonna be adding it into the wrap with tomatoes and some greens. Like I said, I'm also gonna make this into a reel, so you guys are gonna have to, you're gonna watch me, but you're not gonna get my full undivided attention. And I'm also gonna be doing a side salad. So I am doing a bunch of kale, but we have to do the tedious part where we have to break off the stems out of freaking every piece because we don't like the stems in here. So I'm gonna put a bunch of this into a bowl pick off the stems and then cut it with this like salad cutter to make it nice and small because I love when the kale is like itty bitty pieces, but we just can't do all the stems. So I'm gonna sit here for the next like three minutes just picking off all the stems. The salad is done. I am just mixing it up now. It has kale, Caesar dressing, anchovies, croutons, nutritional yeast, um, bacon bites, mm, that's it. Super yum. And now I'm gonna start to assemble the sandwich, but I'm gonna record that on my phone so that I can turn it into a reel. So I'm gonna take you guys off my tripod so I can use it. All right, this is what it's looking like so far. Now I just need to wrap it and then side it with the salad, but it looks so good. And she's done. Now I just need to take some photos of it and we can sit down and enjoy it. I think the grapes are the best part about this chicken salad sandwich. Like, it's sweet. I got the jam ones, so they're like, perfect. Also, another amazing topping to chicken salad, if you ever do it, balsamic vinegar. You can just pour it like on top. So good. I think next time I do this, I wanted to do a wrap today, but I think tomorrow I'm gonna do it like on a massive salad and like put a lot of things in the salad. Mm. Real good. I need to at some point this week get my nails done. And I'm debating if I should go today because I know the weather right now looks good, but today's the last day of rain and I really wanna like tan this week. So I can't really do tanning and nails on the same day because last time I did that, my nail appointment literally took like two and a half hours. And I Super late to tanning. Good. Oh God, do you want to see? I found this last night. And yeah, I'm like, seasoning is really good too. Like it literally is like. What seasoning? The one I got to you is citrus garlic. Oh yeah. Like it literally just tastes like you put lemon and garlic. Like what I found last yesterday that I'm like I'm making this next week. Shoot, I don't remember what I found it on. He wants those anchovies so bad. Ew. <laughs> Damn it! I thought I saved it. Oh, well, recipe. Yeah, it was like this like pork bowl like type Asian thing. But I was gonna go to Central Market today 
and buy fish. You can do fish this week, what? No. I mean, I know they're like in Caesar, Caesar salad dressing, so. Mm -hmm. Friend that I was on the phone with earlier today called me out and said that I have like a caffeine addiction, and I'm like, no, I don't. It's actually tough being a girl. You should try it maybe once or twice. Because I was like, the last like five days I've had caffeine twice in the day in which like for a lot of people that's not a, like that's not a lot for me that's a lot like having two cups of coffee is a lot I try to limit myself to like 300 milligrams of caffeine per day 300 400 so but I don't know this period is like smacking me in the fucking face so I'm at Starbucks right now and I'm gonna get a coffee before we go get my nails done because I want one but I don't know if I should get like a cold brew or if I should get a matcha I heard the matchas at Starbucks are really sugary though, so I'm like, I don't really know if I like want that. I don't want something like heavy right now. I want something like refreshing and like not gonna like feel like it's sitting like a brick in my stomach because I already feel like shit um, and already like puffy and shit. So um, let's go into Starbucks. I'm actually not gonna bring you guys with me just because I am also trying to vlog on my phone. I'm doing too much. I'm doing way too much, but I enjoy doing the little TikTok vlogs that I've been doing. So. I'm gonna do that when I go into Starbucks and I'll come back out and I'll let you guys know what I got and just like that I'm back so I got a nitro cold brew with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla so good anyways it's definitely time to get over to the nail salon I still don't know what I want to do so I came back to the place where I got my pedicure if you guys remember a and Z nails it's dead quiet in there always so I wanted to get in and out this is what the crusty ass nails are looking like. They're not like bad, they're just really outgrown. My nails grow so quickly, it's kind of annoying. I think these are two weeks old. They are, they're definitely two weeks at this point. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet to my nails. I, th I was thinking like a white on white uh, French, but I really need to cut them down. Oh my crud muffins, that took so long. I need to see like, I need a timestamp how long I was in there for. That was like insane. I sat there for 30 minutes without them even like doing my nails. Let's see. I got there at 1.30. It's 3.15. I was in there for an hour and 45 minutes. Are we kidding? That was insane. But to be fair, they are gorgeous. But what the fuck? That was like the, I've never sat that long for a, a refill in my life. All right, we gotta go over to Central Market, get some groceries, and then head home. All right, we are at Central Market. Central Market is like the Whole Foods slash H-E-B combo. Wait, I feel like I have to get these because I haven't had these in so long, but I used to be obsessed with these chips. I get two bags. Okay, I really wanted to get tuna right now but they don't have any so he's making me some how sweet of him I don't know where he went but he went back there somewhere this is the little fish market though look at how fresh that tuna looks um, okay so I got that now I'm thinking I kind of want a seaweed salad with it so I'm gonna get that I need to get more mayo for the chicken salad sandwiches so I'm just getting this one look at what I just came by too how to get a case. All right, I'm gonna do a haul on TikTok, so you guys are gonna see the behind the scenes. My phone's propped up on the center console, so I'm gonna do it. I just went to Central Market, and I wanna do a little haul for you. I'm on my period, and I was craving sushi, but I didn't wanna like order out at a restaurant or anything, so I got sushi at this grocery store. Anyways, these like chips, amazing. Per serving, I think there's what, six grams of protein? I love pairing them with like buffalo dip or something like that, just anything you can dip into. And then I got my sushi from like the little sushi bar. So I think this entire thing is 42 grams of protein. Pretty insane. And then I got a seaweed salad to go with it. And then I got a bunch of right rice just because I love adding right rice into my bowls for extra protein. There's 10 grams of protein per serving of right rice. And then I got some cottage cheese. They didn't have regular cottage cheese, so I went with the like good culture lactose free one. I've never had it. I'll let you guys know though if I like it. Then I wanted to get some like different sauce for the sushi. I already have soy sauce, but I believe this is like what eel sauce is at a restaurant. And then lastly, some mayo because I've been doing chicken salad sandwiches all week and I needed more mayo. And mm, 
Sugar-free root beer. <laughs> oh boy, all right, I'm gonna put everything back. $62, I don't really know if that's a lot or not. But, I guess not really, because like, how much is this? This is $15? If I were to get this at a, a, like a restaurant, I feel like this would be like so much money. I don't know, but let's go back. That's gonna be my dinner, probably. Maybe I should have a snack before that though. Or just eat dinner early and then have another snack later. I don't know. Let's get out of here though. These chips with onion dip, because what else is new around here? These chips are so good. I haven't had them in so long. That's what they look like. They're little like um like rice cake chips. Lentil chips, to be exact. I'm gonna get everything ready for dinner. Not my like boob pouring out of my shirt right now. But I have this, but then also like when you get it, it comes with soy sauce and ginger and wasabi and whatnot. But I'm gonna go on TikTok live because I've been trying to do that like once a day. So I'm gonna bring all of this over there and this is gonna be my dinner. Tuna and then this massive seaweed salad. So excited. This is a massive seaweed salad, but I don't think I'm gonna ever take Taylor's class. <laughs> oh, is that what someone just asked? Yeah. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do that. You should come do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to embarrass her because my skills are so good. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. Like, you wouldn't even be the worst one. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might be. <laughs> I got just um, like pieces of tuna. I'm on a massive seaweed salad. Cause I, I don't know why, I'm on my period right now, but I was just craving raw fish. <laughs> so I just got like, um, pieces of tuna. You know what sucks when you're pregnant? You can't really eat a lot of seafood. You can't eat raw fish. No. Hopefully my cravings are, would be more like, different things. <laughs> oh, but I'll stay. This seaweed salad is so good. No, I like boys. I, I really like boys. No, I like boys. Did someone ask if you're lesbian? No, someone asked if I like. Well, yeah, they asked if I like girls. I really like boys. Oh, someone just goes, I'm seven weeks pregnant and miss sushi. Damn. I got um, I got this from like a grocery store though. This grocery store is like very high quality. So like this, like I would show you, like I would tip it over, but I'm gonna pour out the sauce that's in there. Like, this sushi, the coloring on it is so good. Look. Like, I don't think I would ever get, like, grocery store sushi anywhere else. Mac, <laughs> Mac dude, no. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a lot of soy or wasabi. Do you ever just, like, have so much wasabi that it goes straight up your nose? Holy crap balls. I could also eat ginger like by like the buckets of it. <laughs> Happy birthday. My birthday's not today, but my birthday is in like two months. Oh my god. I got my ears pierced and like I got these new two piercings up here, which they're like healing pretty good, I'm surprised. But they keep getting caught in my hair, and when I pull it, it hurts so bad. I know I can't wait for the new merch too. I wanna pick it up ASAP. No, I'm not Swifty. I like was back in the day, but I feel like people are just like a little bit too obsessed. No oh my offense. god, they're psychotic. Like, they're psychotic. I don't think I'll ever love an artist as much as people love Taylor Swift. They're so psychotic. Like, I feel like I'm like disrespecting people when I say I'm not a Swift Swifty. No, they're psychotic. Like, they're like. Like, should I say yeah? They're animals. What's my favorite food? I would say like buffalo tenders. Like, if I had one food for the rest of my life. It'd probably be buffalo tenders. 
There's this one place in Boston. Oh my god, I'm going home next month. I'm gonna go. They have the best buffalo tenders ever. See, now, I like Taylor Swift's music, but I like her older music from like 10 years ago. Like, her music now, I don't like. So that's just my standpoint with Taylor Swift's music. Um, oh my god, what the fuck is the place called? Why am I drawing a blank? Wing, 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 wing Dixie, wing. Wing Dixie's a grocery shop. No, then what the fuck is it? Wing. Wing stop, Buffalo Wild Wings. No, it's not, it's not, it's not a chain. I was just on live for literally like an hour, but I did just get back also from a walk with Mac, and while I was on live, I cracked this open, so I'm gonna finish it. Anyways, I love, like, yeah, I'm wearing a bra all day, but like, I love the feeling of ripping it off. So I'm gonna go change and rip this bra off of me, and then go sit on the couch and try to find something to watch. It's only what, oh my goodness, it's only 6.45. So yeah, I'm gonna go sit down and find something to watch and just chill for a while. Cause I haven't like sat down and did nothing. Like, at all today. You guys can probably assume what my snack's gonna be, especially because your girl's on her period. She wants chocolate, ice cream. So, that's what we're doing tonight. It's 7.30, and yes, I'm having my nightly snack at 7.30. I feel like some of y'all are like, that's my dinner time. Well, guess what? I have dinner at like five. So, yeah, I had dinner at five today, so. It's been like two and a half hours. So now we're gonna, right back. We're gonna have ice cream, which I haven't even sat down on the couch. Remember like 45 minutes ago, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sit on the couch. Happened today. I just get sidetracked really easily. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh God. Now, after I make this, I'm gonna go sit on the couch. <whistles> also, I need to drink water. I have been lacking my water. I also try to bring Mac on another walk before I go to bed. So that way I can get him to go to the bathroom before he goes, like number two, you know? And I like to do that before it gets dark. So it's probably gonna get dark in the next like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna have this, then go on a walk with Mac, come back, continue to sit on the couch. But like I said, I just like to walk with him when it's not like pitch black. It doesn't get dark here until like nine, which is great. And nine is my bedtime. Mm-mm, good. I introduced my guy friends Dayton and Seth to delights and they love it, which is good because Taylor can't have it because there's dairy. So now that they like it, I'm like, we can go all the time together. But this is my ice cream. All right, so I want to put a face mask on. Ow, actually, I don't even know if I want to. Yeah, no, fuck it, I am. Um, but if I do that, I obviously need to take off my makeup. Anyways, uh, any life updates, Sam? You guys are probably wondering. Um, I don't know. I don't really like, like there hasn't been really much progress with Sneaky Link other than the fact he didn't go out this past weekend and he picked me up from the bars, which was like so nice of him. Like he didn't have to do that. And I just like, we've both been like struggling with figuring out like what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. And I feel like it, I told myself like going into like this past weekend, like I was going to have a conversation with him and like ask him. But something happened, like there was this other dilemma that happened with like one of his friends not being a good friend to him and trying to do things. So we had to deal with that, but I would go into more detail on that, but I'm not gonna. Wait, anyway, so the other night, like when I went out with all my friends without Sneaky Link, Cause he's like a part of the friend group. All the guys kept being like, oh my God, like he's gonna, he's gonna like wife you up. He's gonna like cuff you up. Like just give it time. Like just wait, like, like they kept calling me like his girl. And I'm like, why are you guys calling me his girl? Because like, first of all, like we don't hang out sober. Like I'm not his girl. Like if anything, like you would also refer to me as like sneaky link. Cause to me, he's my sneaky link and nothing more than that. And like the boys just kept being like, Oh my god, like, you're his girl, you're his girl, you're his girl. And I'm, like, talking about, like, in general, throughout the conversation, we were just talking about, like, girlfriends, boyfriends, and I'm like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like, 
don't bring me up and don't bring me involved in this because first of all don't call me his girl because he doesn't claim me whatsoever because we don't even like hang out sober so i think this weekend i just want to like i said this last time i always say this fuck I'm so annoying, but I always say like, oh, like I'm gonna try to play hard to get, I'm gonna play hard to get. No, I actually mean it this time, okay? Because after what happened this past weekend, like with the other situation, I'm like, I need to play hard to get. Cause like, why not? Also, my period was nine days late. I know, I don't know if you guys remember me complaining about this. And like, because my period was nine days late, I was just like in my feels, like taking a bunch of fucking pregnancy tests, like freaking out. But I got my period and I took more pregnancy tests just to be careful. I took like fucking six of them and we're good. But yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm just happy I got my period. My freaking hormones are all sorts of wow. This is like literally only the second period I've gotten since coming off birth control. But yeah, so what my guy, all my guy friends keep just being like, oh my god, like he really likes you, he really likes you. I'm like, if he really likes me, like, why isn't he hanging out with me more often, you know? But like, I get it, like, he just got out of a relationship like a few months ago, so it's like, he probably doesn't want to jump into another relationship. But I'm like, we can at least hang out. Like, I think he's just scared. He's literally scared of his own feelings. But I'm in a rush, and I don't want to force him to be in a rush, because like, I'm having fun. I'm just stressed, not knowing what's going on. Uh, what time is it? I don't really know if I want to put on a face mask. Should I? Fuck it, I'll put on a face mask. We'll do the caudally face mask, this mask. Face mask is the best. I hope my period doesn't go into the weekend. Today's only Tuesday, so I don't think it will, but. I'm gonna sit back down and I'll come back in here and do more skincare after my face mask. All right guys, it's like 9.30. I am going to bed. I'm still like so full from all that ice cream I had earlier. And I also have my period. So like, I'm like, I just feel like so stuffed and gross and like disgusting. But I hope this period doesn't last super long. It's only Tuesday. So I'm hoping over the weekend that I don't have it. Cause like, I just feel horrible. And I'm done feeling horrible. But that's about it. I hope I'll vlog another day this week. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one.